In this demo, I will share with you how to calculate six basic statistics measures so that you'll be able also to retrieve these measures. Moving on now to the range. And the range is basically the difference between the highest and the lowest value in our data set. In our case, the highest value is 10 and the lowest value is 1. For the mode, for the range, we don't have a formula, but it's pretty simple. The highest minus the lowest, so in our case it's 9. You can also calculate um, using max from this range minus min, so the minimum of this range. Lastly, we'll cover variance and standard variation. Now these are a bit more complex terms, but we will take it step by step. I will also show you, besides the step by step approach, a couple of formulas that you can use to simplify the process. But first of all, let's create a, a simpler data set with three points and let's say two, um, three, so that would be five and six, now seven. All right, and now the way to cal calculate the range is to do a step-by-step -step calculation. And we have the formula in the definition tab. So we want to subtract from the value. So here the observation i is the first observation, so it is the first value, in our case is 2. We want to subtract the average, make the square of that division, and then summarize all these observation minus average squared, right? And then we will do next step, we will do a division, and then we will be done. Okay, so the first thing is we want to calculate the observation value minus the average. So in our case, the average is 4, and the observation would be 2, 3, and 7. So it's basically the first one minus the average, which is 4. I will just put 4 in this case, you know, squared. And here we have one, um, basically 1 because we have 3 minus 4. This is minus 1, but square is 1. Okay, and here we have 7 minus 4, which is 3, and 3 squared is 9. Okay, so now when we calculate the sum, the sum is 14. So we calculated this upper part, sum of observation minus average squared. Okay, so that is 14. Now it's very important that you are able to do this step by step, but also if you have Excel with you, you can use this formula to calculate this sum, which is dev sq, which returns the sum of squares of deviation of data points from their sample mean. Sounds complicated, but once you use it, you just select your data points and you're done in a second. You see, it's 14, so it's in line with what we have here. All right, there is a one small step, so the hard part now is done. There is one more step to get the variance, and this is the step where you divide this 14 that you got here, the sum, by the total number of observation minus one. So we have three observation, three values, minus one is two, Okay, so we go back and we have the variance is 7. Okay, and the standard deviation is the root square of that 7, of that variance. So pretty easy once you calculate the variance to also calculate the standard deviation. So you can use the square SQRT formula. It's square of this cell. So 264, 57, 51. So this is how you do it step by step. And I think this is important. You have the knowledge and being able with a calculator to get to this value. 
But let me show you a, a trick and let me show you a formula that enables you to obtain this value in a second if you are working with Excel. And, and for that, you just start typing stdev and select even this old one, still available. Select your interval. Yeah, close the bracket. Okay, hit enter. And as you can see, we obtain the exactly same number for the standard deviation in just one step. All right, and now let's test your uh, knowledge with the assignment. So you have here your, the data set and calculate the mean, median, mode, range, variance, and standard deviation, either using the step-by-step -step method, your observation, or using the formulas that are also available here in the definition part, the last tab. Okay, so feel free to download this file, go to assignment, and when you feel stuck or you need some more information, go to definition and get the information from there. And right after this lesson, there will be a quiz and you will be able to test if you done the exercises accurately because uh, there, there will be the correct values inside the quiz. Okay, good luck.